two, one, take it away. What is going on, guys? Welcome to the No Reset Cross Dream Hack Canada 2020, benefiting the Equal Justice Initiative. I'm Level Best, and I'm going to be your host for the next few games. We are joined here by Supersonic and his co-commentator, Kelsey. Um, if you guys don't know Supersonic, he is the second place runner for this game, actually. So all the strats and everything he has to say, take his word for it. He's amazing, and he knows what he's doing. Uh, would you guys like to say a little bit? Uh, yeah, hi, my name is... Hello, Super good Sonic. morning. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we got Kelsey with me here. Uh, she'll be handling the majority of the commentary while I'll play the run. So I'll probably chime in here and there, probably throwing in a few things. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm ready to go on the timer on your mark. All right, sounds good. Let me just put this up here to Eevee, which we are on. And we'll go on three, two, one, go. Mm. I wish I had my soundboard to, to clap you in. <laughs> Okay, so Animaniacs for Genesis. This beginning part uh, just kind of goes through all the characters. You're going to be flipping through the characters throughout the entire game. It just kind of shows off what they do. Uh, Yakko is kind of the only one with two. He has a paddle ball. He can stun people. And he's also, he can move blocks. Wacko has the mallet to ignite things, which I guess makes sense. And then Dot has her charm. So there's kind of, there's four levels here that you have. They're kind of themed. This is like the adventure, Indiana Jones style. Which is only fitting because, you know, Spielberg. Yeah, why not? Exactly. So you can see Dot just used her charm there again. So what is it exactly about this game? Like, what are they trying to accomplish? Because I've never seen this game before. Like, I said, well, the speedrun. Well, we, well, we are trying to collect all four <laughs> artifacts, obviously, and defeat Pinky and the Brain. Oh. Because they want to take over the world, including, including our world. So that, that's, you know, our artifacts. Our world. So in Animaniacs, like, our is like the the Warner Studio. But but when you say when you say our world is a, uh, are these worlds separate? Like on some like Super Mario sixty four type type thing? Um, I wouldn't say that. No, but you know, it's just it's the movie world of it all, and and we're just trying to have a fun time because the game is just like the show. It's a little crazy. Oh, yes. So you see, he just took a, an intentional death uh, damage there because it is faster, and if you time it out, you can go right into that opening there on the the, the climb. Very yeah, reminiscent so of like the beginning up. stage is pretty slow, uh, mainly because there's a couple auto scrollers that we got to deal with. Um, after this particular scene, um, it'll start picking up a little bit. That yeah, happens. so this is one of the few auto-scroller areas, too. This game kind of has a little bit of everything. Auto-scrolling, platforming, puzzle-solving. Yeah, this one's just... We're just standing on a little mini train cart here. Um, yeah, there's really not much to say about Stage 1, but once we get to, like, Stage 2 and onward, it'll get, you know, pretty crazy. Because, you know, this, it is a pretty crazy cartoon. Back in the 90s, and well, yeah, it's it's zany to the max. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't even have a time on the board, but Supersonic's been getting PVs like every day, and so I tried to do a run last night, and it was it, these jumps are so much harder than they look. Like some of these, like right here, even he's going to take this bottom route, and with to not get damage there is actually really difficult. So all the character switching, we're gonna break these blocks. Yeah, this game is pretty much like three Sonic heroes in a way. Because we have like three characters, we're just taking control of them. 
There are a couple uh, like trick areas. Like we just passed one where there's a timer and like some health. Well, if you actually go in there, I think it sends you back to the beginning of the level. So we're gonna hope for a good stun lock here on this boss, by the way. I believe it's seven hits we wanna do on him. And you just made it look simple. Yeah, I kind of messed up a little bit on the stun lock there. Um, because Roth moves at very, like, different speeds. So just trying to catch him on the stun lock sometimes can be a bit uh, sketchy, but we managed to get him on there pretty good. And that is our first of the four artifacts that we'll be collecting from these stages. So now we get to move on to my least favorite level, the space level. Yeah, like actually on my splits, I do have them named after like, popular movies. So like, like Star Wars or Star Trek. Um, and then like the first, uh, the first stage that we did, that was kind of like Jurassic <laughs> Park. There'll be like a couple more stages coming up after this, which is a little more RNG heavy. But this one is like, this is more like platform based, so we're gonna see like a lot of tight jumps. Yeah, that's why I said it's not my favorite. Um, it's the platforming. And so we're actually gonna take this top route here. By the way, we didn't mention you can collect those stars to get a one up. But we don't really need any lives here, because, I mean, this is a speed one. We're not going to die. And then it also is makes it at the end. They're going to count down, and that's going to, like, the score at the end of the level. And we don't want more time. That takes more time. To All right. So this uh, part's pretty silly. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't really know. I, okay, so when you look at the sky, you can actually collect those items that are flying by, the chests and such. But again, it's it's health and stars. So we're just gonna sit here and stun Ralph. One of Ralph's million appearances in this run. And, uh, yeah. By the way, uh, Supersonic, if you get a chance, can you maybe move your microphone closer so we can hear you better? Oh, okay. And your glorious voice <laughs> in all its splendor. I'm usually like really soft-spoken, so probably I'm not heard that well. <laughs> this part's a little <laughs> sketchy. This part. <laughs> this is why I don't play. This is the part. <laughs> because that, that little jump hit, it's, it's, I was, we were talking about that the other night. I was telling Supersonic, like, I cannot get that part down. Yeah, I basically jumped at the very edge of that platform, and that'll pretty much maximize their distance to land on the other platform. Uh, pretty tricky to do because you don't have much leeway to jump on that part. So it's pretty much like you have to like, jump on that very last frame. So this part's a little tricky. Surprise, hidden block in the wall that we just happen to know is there though. One of the many puzzles in this game. So this is correct, by the way. We do have to stand here and wait for that bottom door to open. You can see in the bottom left of your screen. And it is possible to soft log, like right by the door because there's like a platform <laughs> right next to it. Yes, that's true. That can happen. Hey, what's up, Sonic 2? Does this not look like Sonic 2 to anybody? Else? I was going to say, that's Chemical Plant Zone if I've ever seen it. <laughs> I know. I know. Thank you. Yeah, they got some pretty cool references from other games. As well as movies, obviously. Yeah, that's definitely uh, a nod to the Chemical Plant, too. Or Chemical Plant, rather. That little bit. Tiny bit of lag there because of how many sprites are on screen. But not much of a big deal, though. So, yeah, this part, there are two ice creams that you can grab. Um, that's in case you have lower health. There's one here, and then there's another one towards the end of the screen, uh, because the boss fight's coming up next. And this one's kind of paying an homage to Donkey Kong Jr. It's like the, I believe it's stage 3 in Donkey Kong Jr. Or stage 2. One of the two stages. There, pretty much just gotta climb up here, and stun Ralph whenever we can, whenever we see him. Those sparks are actually cycle-based, so 
they're pretty much on the cycle from power on. Same with those. So we're really just gonna continuously climb up here, so get to the top. While we're What's climbing to the top, while we're climbing to the top, um, I'd like to remind everyone watching about the charity that we're raising money for. I'm sorry, not not charity, but uh, what we're fundraising for here, the Equal Justice Initiative. Um, and we've had a, a lot of people going going through and you know speaking a little bit about what we do here, uh, and. The Equal Justice Initiative being committed to ending mass incarceration and uh, excessive punishment in the United States. Um, but I haven't heard too much about, you know, getting into detail about what they actually do. Um, you know, Equal Justice Initiative has been around for many years. I want to say like 30, 30 years, possibly a little bit more. And they place heavy emphasis on things like getting to people who were convicted in the life set for life, life sentences sorry i'm fumbling over my words it's pretty early in the morning but some children you know people 17 or younger i believe up in the numbers of like 3,000 were convicted to life sentences in prison and so the, the, what those guys do is they help people who are wrongly convicted and also people who you know they're the punishment doesn't fit the crime and help them to have a second chance. It's actually really cool. Okay, so here we are in Western. Was Western land we can call this one? Yeah. So we're just gonna take the top route here again. There's there's a lot of climbs and top routes in this game. I never really noticed that. But yeah, we're just gonna avoid Buttons and Mindy. I'm gonna have to take an intentional death here because I'm pretty much on low health, so I'm just gonna go ahead and fall into this fire pit. Um, I tried to not get damaged in those first couple of screens um, because I needed to do a damage boost here, otherwise you kind of see those three crates. Um, we would have to move those. And we don't want to do that, so we just end up taking damage there. And let me just move this one just to avoid the extra damage. That's totally fine though. Now we're gonna see some Yoku blocks, which I totally missed. Ooh. Well, you can see you can't see the timing until you're up there, unfortunately. There we go. So as it is right now, we, we don't know of many like glitches or anything in this game. So I mean that that could change. There are not a ton of runners on this, so who knows? There aren't that, that many runners for this game, and uh, yeah, as you mentioned, not enough, like no glitches at all currently. This is strictly like a glitchless run. It's more based on movement and execution, uh, as well as uh, there's like some boss minutes that we can do as well. And this upcoming boss is pretty annoying. So we'll see. In it really, it really can in PB attempts uh, make or break the run. This boss right here. see Ralph just tossing pies at us and we're trying to launch pies back at him. We have to hit him five times. However, this pie launcher here, it pretty much goes randomly no matter where we swing it at. So we just gotta hope and pray that we get Ralph five times here. And Ralph, uh, for being a big guy, he's pretty agile, so he can move pretty quickly like on that tiny train there. So we already got two so far. Not being kind currently. Okay, there's three. Can we get four? Come on, Ralph. We don't know where Ralph is getting the most, like, infinite supply of pies on his end. Okay, I think we need one more hit here. We should be good to go for the next screen. Come on, <laughs> exactly. Okay. Well, you know what? Yeah, and then... With this boss too, even at this part, so we we think we're almost done. He's got a second half. <laughs> there's more. There's there's even more. You can never have enough. <laughs> this boss. So I. Uh, 
yeah, yeah go this ahead, part, go. it's not... It's well, you'll see here. It's again, we're just hitting this, but you see how the top of the the train it opens and closes at random, and if those little pieces of coal fall, it does damage to us. Which we actually never went over either. The top left of the screen it shows each uh, Animaniac character, whichever you're on. There's no health meter, but you kind of have to go off of their expression. So the happier they look, the more health we have. And as you can see, that's not the happiest of faces. We just lost a little. I'm trying to bait Ralph to jump on the train and then, you know, have him fall onto the tracks like that. So once he starts running, that's when we know we're done with this fight. We can see that the train is locked on the right side. So we're just going to stand right here. And we're going to have the artifact just drop right to us. Okay, that was like And that one is what our, th our third. Our third. <laughs> leaves us with one more one more theme can you guys guess what the last the last movie theme is hmm. am i allowed to guess as well <laughs> well well it's horror it's a horror film okay so we're gonna charm the grim reaper easy i was thinking drastic park <laughs> oh <laughs> Watch out for this hay bale, by the way. Uh, I mean, unless you want to learn the hard way, go ahead and hit it. But uh, if you do actually hit that, it's like this jack-in-the-box type thing, and it sends you back to the beginning of the level. <clears throat> yeah, so that'll cost, like, I want to say, like, a little over 30 seconds or so. Because of how slow the characters move, especially. Like, there's no run button or anything like that, so we're just strictly walking. Oh. Now we're going to hope for some good book RNG. So we're not getting any good books here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we made we made it through. Yeah, <laughs> kind of see from Doc's expression there on the top left. Yeah, not thrilled. Not not great. So if you quickly do your little kiss thing there, he can't hurt us. But uh, he might be back later. So let's see. Yeah, this stage is basically, or basically, like, puzzles. Except for, like, this part right here where we see Pinky and the Brain and they have the, the French horn contraption that they built. And they're trying to pretty much suck us in into the French horn. But instead they're getting, like, all these yeah. glasses and plates and such. Yeah. Doing damage with the, the dishes. So this is one of those funky puzzle parts. So we're actually going to put these pieces intentionally in the wrong order. So what that's gonna do, that's gonna open up the left door so we can then cycle back. And you can see how the pieces are now respawned, not in there. So we're gonna actually put them in the correct position. Yep, and that'll open the door on the right side, and then it's going to take us into the next area. So we just got to push this block here, and then pretty much climb up here. We don't need to push this block all the way, you can just jump on it and then drop down. So we do have some water here. Now, you can get hit by the waterfalls, but do not go into the actual water. Because it is instant death if you fall in. Yeah, they can't swim. So. Yeah. They, they try to trick you here and put that little one up. We'll grab it though. Yes, we are now draining it, so we're safe now. I kind of noticed that Yakko's paddle ball just comes out for just this brief moment. That's because I'm setting up a button buffer. So if I hold the A button right now like I am, I'll be able to grab the objects and then be able to pull a person. So that's why you see the paddle ball come out randomly. So this boss, it's interesting. If you stay on the opposite side, he always spawns on the opposite side of you. Like if you stay on one side, he spawns on the opposite. 
So we just want to keep him in this lock here. We don't want to let him throw us any damage. Should be good. One more hit. Yeah, so we're just pretty much dropping him on his butt. That, that's how you beat the Grim or the Dracula. Just drop him on his butt, that's all. <laughs> Alright, you guys, we did it! We got all four artifacts. So now, after getting these, it's gonna unlock the quote unquote Wily stage of the game. And this is like the hardest stage of the run. Because anything can go wrong. I believe in you. <laughs> so here we are. We like to kind of refer to this the, the award show level. If you got any donations, feel free to read them. Uh, Alright, I'll let you know when we get some coming through. Um, but, remember guys, um, we are, what are we? We're about 40 hours into this marathon and would be nice if we could hit let's 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 try to hit see if we can hit six six thousand uh by by the time these next few games are over um we have quite a few donation uh, incentives for the event for runs that are coming up shortly um we have uh, mario kart wii category extensions um we have one we have one bid war for the category item rain um, we have the uh, option um, outside drifting bikes only, uh, off road only, and carts only. And um, currently, outside drifting bikes is winning. We also have um, a uh, war for I believe it's Diddy Kong Racing to decide the the name of the save file. Currently, Barbecue <laughs> is is in the lead for that. I actually really like the name Barbecue. And then we also have one for Save the Animals and Super Metroid. A very traditional bid war. And currently, Save the Animals is winning. But 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 not by much. But So if you guys want to kill the animals or save the animals, you definitely start getting your donations in for that one. I actually got past that very difficult platforming section, but that's not it. Yeah, that's one of the scariest parts. <laughs> yeah, you can actually like die there really easily because of how finicky the platforms are. Kind of weird. We're going to go down here, hit this to cause an explosion, get out of the way so we don't take damage, and it unveils stairs. This screen. This one's a doozy. This, yeah, you don't stop. <laughs> this, that's the best advice I can give you. Just keep on going. Those flames are going to be chasing us. We are gonna move that one block and then just push the top one and just go, just go, just go. Yakko here, and there's gonna be a helicopter shooting at us. Trying to break the windows, and those blast shards does two damage. So if I take one hit from that, I'm gonna die. Because I'm already like too low health already. Okay, shoot right now. We're just trying to hit the switch up there. This is kind of, uh, it's interesting. You can extinguish all of these fires, but it's it's really, it's time consuming. So I believe there's really only one that we'll actually be putting out. Yeah, as you can see, uh -oh. like when we try to put out the fire, it does create a lot of lag. So we only just uh, take out that one, especially because we have to uh, push the block as well. And yeah, all the random food items, that's all health. There's there's ice cream, um, there's a blueberry, like it's just completely random and throughout the game. I saw one health item that looked like chicken from um, Streets of Rage. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Uh-huh. Yeah. I don't know if it's chicken, like mutton or something. <laughs> okay, so th this is a cutscene. <laughs> 
yeah, as you can see, I'm pushing start. I can't skip this cutscene. Um, but there is an interesting thing about this. Uh, so if you beat the game one time through, you can actually skip this cutscene and it saves roughly two minutes. However, when we do the speed run, we start it from power on. So we would have to like sit through this two minute cutscene. <laughs> Pretty much to see like Pinky and the Brain just plotting their plan. You know, they they took all the artifacts from us. Try to take over the world. Like, are you pondering when I'm pondering, Pinky? That was pretty good, yeah. <laughs> I used to do Pinky's voice really well when I was a kid, but I can't do it anymore. But. But yeah. You know, I tr I practiced brain off off stream. I did, but I don't even want to try the. I'm not gonna go for the pinky voice, especially not live for the first <laughs> time. I mean, who knows? That's that's donation incentive right there, guys. No. Okay, you know, I told I told Supersonic that if worst case scenario, I would sing the the Nations of the World song. If you guys know that one, okay. So hey, I, I'm I'm prepared for the you know whatever. <laughs> I mean, this 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 is perfect opportunity. Um, impromptu <laughs> donation incentives. I mean, you know, speak to your audience. What what are you? What's the what's the goal? <laughs> yeah, you guys get your donations out. You don't even. There are so many incentives still this weekend. No, but that's an incentive right there. You, you yeah. singing and doing these doing these awesome voices. I mean, you're 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 putting the target on your own back here. <laughs> I do this. You know, this is what I do. I don't understand. Like every time I go live, I end up singing or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, right now we're sitting at five thousand three hundred thirty-two dollars and sixty-nine cents. Would you be willing to sing if we hit? I don't know, five thousand four hundred. I don't know all the words. <laughs> I can try. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'll sing anything. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. I'm sure everyone loves a good song. Yeah, I'd say we, we could do it if we reach like five 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 five. Five thousand five hundred fifty five dollars and fifty five cents. Yeah, I can't promise how much, but yeah. Like how much singing and things, but yeah. Well, we've just established this how much money we need boss, to raise. <laughs> Get those donations out there. You kind of see that I'm switching between Yakko, Wacko, and Dot. Although I started with Dot first, so I can charm Pinky. And then from there, you switch to Yakko to push the bomb, and then Wacko to ignite it. How long is that, that boss fight on average? Oh, it's, it depends because... Um, Pinky doesn't want to toss the bomb right away. And sometimes they'll throw two, but there's also an extra animation where the boss will grab the handlebar up top. And that costs a lot of time. So we try to keep them like, as low as possible. And I'm just pretty much just taking intentional damage uh, since I'm not getting hit by a lot. Alright, we defeated the boss. Time is coming up once we grab the last artifact. Twenty-seven. That was a twenty-seven. <laughs> Whoa. Twenty-seven thirty-five. Way under estimate. Good job. Yeah, that was still with one death in the run too. Um, that's pretty good. It's like what I want to say, 40, 46 seconds from record, I believe. I'd like to say, um, while we still have you guys here, we have a $10 donation from Anne Marie who says, I want to hear Pinky and the Brain. <laughs> Pinky and the Brain. The voices, the voice acting. Oh, I believe so. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, um, so that is Animaniacs. Uh, so yeah, we're pretty much just seeing the ending sequence here. Uh, the Pinky and the Brain pretty much failed their plot to take over the world. And yeah, pretty much the Warner Brothers and the Warner Sister are pretty much 
gonna give him an opportunity to sign this contract, which <laughs> I don't know what. Oh, gives him a P and B store. Oh, hey, P B store. So you get personal Let's bets go. there. <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, uh, that's gonna do it for us. Um, my name is Supersonic. I'm originally a Mario and Sonic speedrunner. You will see me again tomorrow morning during the Super Mario Brothers Warpless race with Takate, 50% gaming and ACMLM. So definitely check that out. It's gonna be a pretty crazy race there. And of course, Thank you guys for hanging out so much. Um, I'm commentating again tomorrow if you want to watch Super Mario The Lost Levels. <laughs> yeah, also a huge thank you to Kelsey for helping me commentate this run. And yeah, hope you all enjoyed the rest of the marathon. Thanks for watching. Thank you, thank you for being with us. Yes, what yes. Do... Uh, I'm sorry. I was just going to ask you, what do we have next? Level best? Oh, yeah. I was just getting into that. Um, thank you, guys. We have the Magical Quest starring Mickey Mouse being run by Desert Eagle 417 So if you guys like Mickey Mouse and Classic Disney, and this is a um, Super Nintendo game, by the way, definitely stick around for that.